It is time to enjoy what is looking to be my final few weeks here in Miami. And I'm enjoying it with my teammates. You know, even though we may not have won MLS, there's reason to celebrate for the crazy season that we've had. So I've been spending time with, you know, the players like my Tweety, Iguain, the veterans of the team who have given me great advice and they all support me leaving this club. Yeah, they might be tough for the fans, but it was into Miami's first season in MLS, so they're not going to miss me too much. And I think it's just the right time to leave. I see the potential that I have. All of my teammates see my potential. And I think the rest of the world sees the potential that I have to become one of the world's best. And the next step for me moving forward to provide hopefully for my family and hopefully secure my career is to, to leave Miami. So that's what it's time to do. Where will he land and for how much? That's what people are asking. And for myself, I try to avoid the questions as to how much I'm valued at. People are saying anywhere from 10 to 20, 30, upwards of 40 million are what offers are going to be coming in at. And for a young wonder kid like myself, the values mean nothing. Wherever I go, whatever people want to pay for me, whether it's a small amount, low amount, whatever, high amount, I'm going to play the best that I can. And it's time to... To talk with my agent on which club I think I should go to and which club he thinks I would be best suited at. Obviously, the end goal for me, Manchester United. It is a legendary club that I've always dreamed of playing for and one day I hope to be there. But now, the offers are just not there. You know, we could move to Portugal and play for Porto. And my agent recommends that he has played in Portugal before. That's actually where he started his career. He said it'd be good for an upcoming player like myself. But the chance to play in Spain, France, or England, well, let's just say, man, is too good to refuse. So for me, it's come down to England and Everton, or France and Lyon. One of the two will be the club that I join next. I've lived my entire life in the USA. I've only recently started traveling due to football. And now this is gonna be the first time leaving my country. Although I may be Mexican, you guys know how the story goes. I've never actually been there. So leaving the country is, is gonna be a big step for me and it's a bit overwhelming. Saying goodbye to my house and soon the car as well, it's a fresh start, the place that I'm deciding to go. And it is very intimidating. I mean, this is it. I mean, leaving everything I know to, to start this whole new journey, this whole new chapter, which will hopefully end in me becoming one of the best footballers of all time. And before I hopped on the flight to head to my new team, well, let's just say I couldn't forget about someone or he couldn't forget about me. My best friend. <laughs> I'm leaving him for the first time ever. We've grown apart as I joined into Miami and it's looking like we are going to continue to grow apart as I'm leaving this city. Before he left, he told me one thing is that he had a tryout for a football team and I didn't really have time to figure out where he was trying out for, but he's going to be joining a club very soon, which I'm very, very thrilled about and happy for. Boys, it's time to make this signing happen. Raul Hernandez, welcome to Everton. The vote was so split. Everton, Lyon, which club do we go to? Both clubs we've never been to in the history of the My Player. And I felt like the comments were leading more towards Everton, so that is the club that we decided to go. And one of the main reasons is we can learn behind one of the world's best. Maybe not so much today, but Thomas Rodriguez, honestly, is such a, I don't know, a legendary player, man, in his prime so freaking good and it's gonna be great to learn behind him and probably will take a little bit before we can earn that starting role but I'm ready man this is a fresh start a player as young as myself 17 years old man it's gonna be crazy here and it's time to get going the team of the year announced we're gonna showcase this to you of course I've not been named in the team of the year man hopefully by the time I'm 20 years old, maybe we could see ourselves in there. But here we go. Welcome to Everton, the training facility we're introduced to 
a few of the managers, and this is where we are going to be spending our time. The training room. This is where I'm going to be hanging out with the teammates, working on my craft, working out. And the, the manager gave it to me straight, man. He basically gave a straight face and said, yo, you have to earn your spot at this team. You know, you're going to work hard, and it may take some time, but we expect you to do big things in this club. And I'm right there with them, man. I am looking to dominate, and this place looks incredible. Welcome to Everton for sure. It is going to be a very, a very a fun season or two. And boys, remember, we are arriving in January. Yes, that's right. The MLS ended about in November, so we're here in January, and we have to work for this team. You're going to see the position that we're in in a minute, but it's time to get used to this team, train a little bit, and work our overall up. We're starting at a 77 overall this season. So, it's going to be interesting to see how we progress. Boys, before we get into this video, the big announcement is coming that I'll be streaming exclusively on Facebook Gaming. Videos over there, new videos that you can't see on YouTube every single week. Perhaps a new My Player over there starting as well. So, you guys know what to do. Drop a follow over on Facebook Gaming. I'm going to be... Uh, Showcasing that new My Player, which is going to be coming with storylines as well as everything else. The commentary, it's going to be live commentary in this new My Player. Click the link in the top of the description if you guys want to check that out. But here it is. We've arrived halfway through the season. Everton is in seventh. The chance to qualify for the Europa League and maybe even Champions League. And boys, we're in the starting 11, surprisingly, for the first game. And you won't believe who we're playing. Just as surprised as you are we've been picked for the starting 11 which is crazy in and of itself but the first game we're playing with this team is the Merseyside Derby against Liverpool I would have never guessed that we'd be playing in this Merseyside Derby match in my first ever game let alone at all this season they put that much faith in me we're starting over Hamas that is how much faith this manager must have in me. And, I, you know, I'm a little shocked because you saw the cutscene before. The manager said I had to work for this role. But I don't know whether it be an injury or whatever. Hamas is sitting in the substitution bench so along with Ducore. All these players, I rated them myself. But I guess the Everton had paid as much money as they had for me. So they're throwing me in. And it's, I'm not going to lie, a bit overwhelming. I didn't really think I deserved to play here. And... I am so freaking nervous, man. What a game to start your career. I have so much expectations and so much to live up to. If I don't excel in this game, it could be a while before I start again, man. And it's Liverpool. Jesus, man, this team's so freaking good. I mean, the Everton team that we have been matched up with is good in and of itself. But, I mean, you are going to see this Liverpool team. They freaking have Jamie Vardy on the bench, man. It is an insane team, even better than they are already in real life. And we're giving him a free kick early on. This is not good, man. Oh, my goodness. How have we not conceded yet? I'm actually a bit shocked. 31st minute. We're going to get our first chance and a chance to go with the volley. Could you imagine, man? That would have been one hell of a debut goal. Actually, a really good shot. If it wouldn't have gotten blocked, I definitely see that one having a real chance of going in. But that will do it for the first half. Wow. I mean... I'm just so shocked I'm playing, man. You saw at the beginning of my career at Inter Miami, we weren't playing games. At the end of the season with Inter Miami, we were playing every single game. Is that going to be the same with Everton? Are they just going to throw us in the starting 11? And with the formation we're playing, we're out of position yet again at Inter Miami. We were playing left midfield. Here, we're playing a central midfield role. Man, maybe that's one thing I really should have taken into consideration going to a team that actually plays a central attacking midfielder. But you know what? Maybe it's not a bad thing learning some new positions while I'm young so that I'm more versatile. So that when I want to move to a bigger club, I'll have definitely a better chance of doing so. Man, can we talk about these chances? How we haven't conceded because I'm a bit shocked. This one cross played in. I mean... What is it going to take for us to get a shot on goal? Man, every highlight I'm showing you is Liverpool. And this could be it. Through ball of dreams in. Of course it's saved. The goalkeepers are the storyline of this game. We're racking up the accomplishments. But we're not racking up the goals. And Liverpool would finally jump in front. Courtesy of the man. The former Leicester player. 
the super sub of dreams, Jamie Vardy. I can't believe he's on this Liverpool team, but he's just given them the lead in the biggest derby match. One of the biggest ones of the season, especially when it comes at such a crucial time where Everton need points, man. I, I'm, I'm still just shocked around the fact that we're playing. You saw Everton is competing right now for the Europa League spot, Champions League spot, man. I'm new to the team. I'm new to the tactics. And they just throw me right in. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, but it's just a bit mad, man. Here it is. A chance to tie it in the final minutes. Oh, that was it. We wasted it, man. On our weak foot, you guys know we have one star weak foot. It's something I need to continue to work on scoring with my weak foot so that we can upgrade that weak foot because it's so brutal playing with a one-star weak foot we have five-star skill but we have one-star weak foot it doesn't really make much sense the game comes to a close and it's one of the first times in a long time that in a my player series we have not scored on a debut after joining a new team and what i'm slowly realizing is this is going to be a lot more difficult than i would have thought maybe i should have taken that leon deal to go to a league like league on where it's going to be a lot less competitive and I'm going to be a lot more likely to score goals. But instead, oh boy, this could be a very long end to the season. Back at the Everton training facilities here where I'm headed into the office to pick up my first paycheck with the club. We are making bank. 10000 a week. It's one of the reasons why I accepted this offer because it was the highest offer that we received. And with everything that I want to do, you guys know this money is going towards my best friend, my family. I'm going to have to decide between one of them which one I want to support. But the way I've calculated things is after all the paychecks that I acquire this season, at the end, I'm going to be able to help out my family massively and hopefully reunite with them. So that's the goal, man. That's what I'm looking to do here as this season ends. And it's going to be a fun one winding things down with Everton. We joined late. It's time to push for the Europa League and push for an 80 overall. So that next season, the possibilities for us will be endless. How will things turn out with Raul Hernandez's best friend? Where is he moving? Which club has he signed with? And how will things fare with our family? And how will things fare as the season progresses with Everton? That is what you guys are in store for this year in this season let's go for 5k likes thank you guys so much for the support on this series i freaking love you guys and we'll catch you for the next one later on peace